Don't tell him, but I think Wheeljack's a little, uh, chunky. The original scientist of the Autobots, Wheeljack is an expert inventor, especially if that invention is meant to go wrong or meant to explode. Wheeljack has had an iconic look, with the big blue ears, a mask, and not looking like a blue robot Einstein. Due to his popularity, even going so far as to be seemingly revived in the G1's Japanese continuity, Wheeljack appeared in the Bumblebee movie during the Cybertron scene. And since Hasbro put focus on the cast, a Studio Series figure was released. Released. With Hasbro developing their own alt modes, Wheeljack transforms into a Cybertronian race car more in line with Cliffjumper and B-127. But with the sloped front and round windscreen, it seems to keep notes from the Generation 1 Lancia. I love how the ears are so big, you have to turn the head sideways. What's with the transparent wheels? I mean, I get you want to be different, but this isn't Siege Prowl. I'll be honest, the design evokes more of the War and Follow Cybertron games. The curves, the sharp design coming to the front, the detailed headlights, I could see this on the game's homepage. There's no license or promotion on the side, but it's got enough detail not to make it flat and boring. The red breaks up from the hinge, but I love the tone, along with the green lines. Yeah, the arms are there, but I dig the spoiler opening up for a potential speed mode. And it just needs a booster or something to hide that gap in the back. Rolls okay, but it's honestly my favorite of the three alt forms in the wave. It's just so sharp looking. You could plug the gun on top, and with Wheeljack's history, that fits in well. Yeah, he's not a Cybertronian hoverbox like the first episode of G1, but this isn't G1, and I like this better than an alien soccer mom van. I think this is my favorite form for Wheeljack which is saying a lot because I like the Lancia and even the Prime car. So much of this sits right, feeling like the classic Cybertronian. Now if only the transformation was good. Robot mode! <laughs> The transformation is not fun, most notably getting the legs right is a chore. Flipping the panels around while going over the hips, rotating the leg panel while remembering to bend the knee, and getting the wheels back without popping it out of the joint. Oh no, he's already yellowed! Oh wait, no, that's just his natural complexion. Just like Earthrise, he's made from this weird, dirty-like white color, but unlike Earthrise, he just seems more, I guess, dumpy? With the chunky short torso and bulky legs, he looks looks more like a goblin. I don't know, not to argue with the accuracy of the movies, I just don't think it really fits. It's like he just came back from a week with his grandparents. But the details themselves look good and sharp. I like the windscreen with an addition of the green that reveals a white logo. The shins are clean with the green addition, the toes are crisp, and check out the wings. They're attached to the arms this time, but they can be adjusted, and at least you can actually see them. Check out the head sculpt. I'll give it this, I think this is one of my favorite from the Bumblebee film. Hell, it might be one of my favorite Wheeljacks ever. It's detailed but sharp, easily recognized, with a decent enough shape to let it all flow. Plus, the ears are awesome, though I noticed one is warped. Did someone say, ARTICULATION! Ball joint head, ball joint shoulder, rotation below, double elbow, waist rotation, ball joint hips, rotation below, knee bend, foot forward, back, and ball joint. You might have noticed I skipped a few. There's a ball joint in the head, but it's tight. I can get it to rotate, but only from the pin, which it's not supposed to. The ball joint in the feet are way too tight, and I've never been able to move it at all, so don't expect me to. At least there's peg holes. Besides that, everything else seems to be okay. Let's take a look at the accessory. He comes with a large rifle, and no, okay? This is the same weapon from the previous two. They got the exact same details. Just look at them side by side. They're, oh wait, they're not. The film's models reused assets, so the guns are similar, but they carry different attaching points. There's a peg on the side you can use on the back for storage, and with the tab from alt mode, you can do the Megatron cannon thing, but usually I use it as a handheld weapon. So Wheeljack might have a dad bod going on, but is that really a bad thing? I don't know, it's just not my preferred look for Wheeljack, especially given how impressive the head design is, and the details themselves are pretty slick. But what really ruins it is the transformation. It's just not that fun. I could do the top part with a little issue, though the rest doesn't really flow. But who cares? I'm still loving the car, the robot is fine, and he's a welcome addition to the cast of Autobots. Wheeljack, go build a birdhouse or something. Allspark TV. Now that's just prime.